in the opening five minutes of the Super League season. Crabtree will take it forward. And not surprising, utilising the big fella, Crabtree. Very short of the ball now. Brooks for the is halfway. What a beautiful offload there to Scott Griggs. Sensational stuff. And eventually they managed to put Griggs down. It was Matty Smith. Lunt from between his legs gives it to Brett Ferris. Wide they go to Murphy. And Murphy slides the kick in. It's Ferris who'll score. Or will he? The referee will hand this on to the video referees. Lunt is waiting at the dummy half. This is Brough. Back it comes to Robinson. This is Scott Griggs again. Again. Good defence from Wigan. Blake Green in there very quickly with Sargentson. Robinson pops it up. Patrick will run at them. They'll go for the short kick in the in goal area. It's needed. It's with Lunt. They're running it. They're running it with Kudjo. Back from Kudjo to Lunt. Lunt dabs it to the in goal. He's got it. Another big decision for the video referees. Controlling their own cameras, having a look, making their own decision. Stuart Cummings. What else in this situation with five more players in a good attacking situation of the field here can they put on? Comes wide now to the left hand side. Gave them a lot of tries last season, but they'll need another trick if they want to go to the grand final and win it. Murphy off the ground finds Bailey. Bailey brought down on tackle number four. It's Lunt attacking the line, back it comes to Danny Bruff. There's a short ball to Patrick. Was he tackled high? No, the referee says it's the last. So Lunt fires the pass wide. Kojo, Kojo wide to Jermaine McGilbray. Third try for the Giants, two for McGilbray. And the lead leaders are running red hot. So a deliberate act of grounding the ball will result in a goal line dropout, a slip and a run back and we play on. There's little tweaks and changes to the Interpretation of the rules will be uh, hoping to keep you enlightened about throughout the course of the season. Meanwhile, here comes Matty Bowen. This is Daryl Golding. Again, Huddersfield defence strong. They're not being sucked in, they're not coming out of the straight line. Blake Green, Blake Green fired the pass. And here's a chance for Thornley! Thornley scores in the corner, does he? Yeah, great finish. He'll just go upstairs to check. Yeah. Terrific defence that was from Kudjo. Green pops it up. Another drive from Tony Club. He can't go anywhere without the legs, says Crabtree. So he goes down. Here comes the kick. It's got to be. Last one. Last one for Wigan. It's with Matty Smith now. They're running it with Bowen. Bowen gets it wide. Here is Berger. Under intense pressure, Huddersfield looking to hit back here. They had the game in their pocket. Brough goes over for the try at the start of the second half. They're going home with the points. There's a real struggle on now. And Ferris is trying to get round the outside of uh, Matty Smith. Comes back inside him with the help of club. Uh, Brett Ferris is brought down. Sean Lunt waits at dummy half. Fires the pass in field to Danny Brough. Brough then finds Luke Robinson. Robinson gets it wide again. Here is Leroy Kodjo. Here is... Another try for Jermaine McGilbray. It's a hat trick for Jermaine McGilbray. For well, the Warriors. Tell you, team not playing tonight here, Eddie. They can take a bit of bit, bit of uh, confidence going into the season. Looking at this game as Hull Kingston Rovers because they ran Huddersfield very close last week. I looked at the Hull Kingston Rovers side. They brought a lot of players in, a lot of changes in that club. Well, if they can play anything like they did last week against this good Huddersfield side, they should be OK. Here comes Danny Brough, he's got support this time. And there is Scott Griggs. And there, I think, is the match for the Huddersfield Giants. Scott Griggs supporting the run from Danny Brough.